Start the stream. Send. 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 Uh. There we go. Right. This should play much better. Particularly if I... You. Out of my port. You. Into the other port. There we... Turn you around. There we go. Right. So... <coughs> So we tried to do Hammer Watch. Hammer Watch apparently does not like me streaming it because Hammer Watch is a jerk. It's a good game, but it's a jerk. Well, when it comes to me streaming it, it is. So, once I have to put away my gaming controller, uh, you can sit over there for now. So, we're going to play Half Life Echoes, which uh, was a, uh, a sort of labor of love mod that somebody made over the course of, uh, I think, about 20 years. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just playing this to ramble over the top of it, really. It's a game that I can mostly fire and forget. Mostly. Last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa, when he whispered them in my ear. The whole world went to hell that day. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. But yeah, I'm just playing this for shits and giggles. Uh, because I can mostly play it without thinking about it and talk in the background, which is good for and rambles. Because ramble! Hi. Uh, subject, candidate 12. Stations, uh, evaluation commencing. Okay. And bright flare of light as I... Sequence 1. Foundation. Uh, you get a suit right from the start, although this play is more like uh, Blue Shift in that you have to find armor and you can't use HEV charges. Which pissed me off in Blue Shift and it pisses me off now because it means there's all these annoying useless suit charges floating around. Hey, it's no good up there. It's all sealed off. You mean you don't have a remote car alarm deactivator, or did you just get one of the cheap ass aftermarket ones? That's a lot of guns. That's a lot of guns. <laughs> This game is also very self-referential, it likes to drop you back into places you've already been. Or places that look like places you've already- That's a Black Mesa reference, actually. That's Black Mesa voice lines. Uh, the game loves to... throw... Ref references to... itself? A lot, like... You you'll keep arri- You'll keep arriving in places that look like places you've already been, even if you haven't. Impossible. 
What? Uh, yeah, it's yuck, because you're eating here. This always bugs me, because it, I think I should do something, and it doesn't. <laughs> nope. Bye-bye, sucker. No, the stairs and the wheelchair. You're screwed. Good luck. Yes, I like to throw these little ye uh, green, not yellow, green glow sticks around, which is kind of a neat touch. Huge whack off Black Mesa logo. We're funded by the government. We are funded by the government. Did you hear that? That sound. What is it? Oh no. It's probably those anomalous materials people again. Always pushing their equipment too hard. Dabbling in who knows what. I'd be surprised if there's one good brain in them. You'll be thanking Freeman later, you binches. Weirdly, weirdly, this game is supposed to take place in the same time frame as Half Life One and Episode. Oh, not Episode. It's supposed to take place at the same time as Half Life One and. Blue Shift and Op 4 and Decay and all the other ones. But it really doesn't. If you stand here, they have a conversation with the G-Man, he turns around and sees you and they shut the blinds. Boring. Maybe you can jump up? Can you jump up there? From here? No, no, you have to wait till later. If you go down, you... Get in here, quick! And then they do this, they do this awesome blackout to avoid doing animations trick, which is both cheap and kind of cool. You, you really can't be serious. God. Okay, let's get out of here. I thought we were a good team. Yeah, I'll be fine. You've only got a HGV suit. Lag's about 30 seconds, so we're doing pretty good today. Time, 8.57 a.m. That's not the G-Man on there, that's just another scientist. There's nothing on here. There is no reason for you to do this, but it's hilarious. Uh, if you jump off, 
demonstrated exceedingly poor judgment prior to containment failure. Same thing happens if you... Are you crazy? If you jump on the tracks. If you jump on this side, another guy talks. Are you crazy? No, no, the same person talks. It's on this side. Sounds totally different from. Excuse me, but I'm rather busy right now. Looks like we're in for a long day today. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa train. This train is inbound from from sector C. You smell something burning? Yeah, it's your hair. My goodness. Okay, maybe it's not your hair. Danger, danger. All personnel evacuate facility immediately. This is not a test. It can't get any worse than this. Oh, just you wait. Now, if it was a drill, I'd be having fun. That to me sounds like it's an emergency system failure, not the emergency systems have failed. Portal storm. Hep two reference. Get out of here. Oh, it's too late. I can't do it. I can't. We'll never make it. Hold yourself together. Look out! Yes, I'm eating crisps during the intro sequence. I find this hilarious. Oh shit. And we get this really slow sequence. Again, not on crisps because crisps and because it makes the whole thing funnier. If it bothers you, I can stop, but... a little creepy. Ruin. This bit bugged me when I first played it because they don't give you a crowbar, and to me that screams one of two things. One, we're not going to throw any enemies at you because you aren't armed. Two, we're going to throw enemies at you so you run away. Once you do get a weapon, you can simultaneously relax, because, because, well, now you're armed, and you simultaneously also tense, 
because, well, now the maker can feel absolutely no remorse whatsoever about throwing a shit ton of whatever at you. Because he had a knife, he could have done something at it. Steam. Called it. And what the heck is that? A loading the screen. And now we're down here. Wherever down here is. Um. Is it following us? Um. I really hope it's not fucking following us. Um. Because if it is following us, that's bad! Save here's. Down to here. Down to there. Down to there. Down to there. And I want to say down there and then across. Yeah, that makes the damage noise, but you don't actually take any damage because... Mm, and that knocks down the emergency ladder. Because of course it does. Well, let's go down into the water, the water. Down, 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 down. Oh, that sounds bad. Uh, running, running. All right, let's go this way. This way has got to be safe, right? Oh, f this is exactly what I meant when I said maybe they'll throw monsters at you knowing you're unarmed. One sec, I'm going to turn the music up because the music's actually pretty good here. Well, oh, fib. Ah, does that? Ah! Ah! Well, Cry did say he enjoyed British people screaming. And if I stay still for a few seconds. And you listen closely. This is music out of Rusty Lake. This is music specifically out of Rusty Lake Seasons Winter. This is the same track. Except it's not. It's actually a completely different track by the same composer that has the entirety of the first track in it. And a different BPM. Don't trust Kevin MacLeod, people. There you go, now we've got a vest, health, no armor, and, uh, well, odds are still pretty high that we are going to die. Three, two, one. Move! Oh! I'm on a low head calm diet! Ow. 
Where did I last save? Here, okay. Wait, hold on, is that one where my head was? Yes. Where did they land? Uh... What I would give for a gun right now. What I would give for a gun five minutes ago. What I would give for a gun two hours ago. What I would have given for a gun three years ago. Yeah, we're getting some serious deflation on the stuff I'd do for guns, just saying. I do like that little override system. And now there's some zombies. And another freaking head carb. I told you I'm on a diet. No head carbs for me. Uh, zombies in this game take six crowbar hits to the head. Uh, which makes them... And there goes my microphone. Get yo shot back up here. And you hit my keyboard light color change on the way down. Damn you! What? Nice try. I'm faster than you are, head crab. Okay, maybe not, but I could pretend I am. But at the end of the day, I'm the one who's alive and you're the one who's dead. Many because I have armor and more hit points. And a freakishly abusive nature of the save load function. Yeah, the game also likes to spontaneously drop head crabs out of, out of crates on you. Which, to me, just feels like an utterly dick move. But it's not my game, so... Seriously? Well, this bridge is, um... So what nasty thing is gonna spawn on me when this gets to 50%, huh? <laughs> okay, he's gonna die. That's what's gonna happen. From what sounds like a ball squid. I like it says South Fire Door released on both of them, even though this is the North Tunnel. Like I said, six hits to the head. You have to get them in the head. The nuts don't count as a critical hit zone. They should, but that's for another video game. come from? One, two, three, four, five, six. See? Dead.
You got nothing to say to me, uh... Okay, so these doors are blocked, we have to go under here. Whereupon there's a sudden clang, everything goes dark. Chapter 4, and the door is shut behind us. And is now broken. Well, he's dead. Uh, fun fact, if you break your fire extinguisher... It blows up! Because it's a pressurised container. This is why you don't hit fire extinguishers with crowbars, kids. If we jump down to here... We can land on his head. You're dead, you're dead, you're all dead! Should have bought life insurance, stupid zombies. Your widows could have made a mint. Again, HEV charger that you can't use, which pisses me off. I mean, it shouldn't, but it does. And this is... More music that uh, is by the same person who did the original music for the first Frosty Lake game, which is why... The person here got away with using it because it, it's royalty free stuff. And I'm dead. I missed with the crowbar. How you miss with a fucking crowbar, I have no idea, but I did, so. There. And yes, I am pushing around a giant box labelled Danger, Explosives, and Flammable Materials. This is a very safe thing. Really, it is. You have to do a specific kind of damage to it to break it, and uh, I can't do that, so... Splash. Splish. Sploosh. Uh... This puzzle didn't take me too long to figure out, but it is still slightly annoying. Actually, I lie. It took me quite a while to figure it out, even though it's really freaking obvious. Oh, fuck. Um, let's just nudge you two over here, and you can... Yeah, just like that, and then if we... And in a few minutes, uh, they will reach the giant thing labelled Caution. You can guess what that does. I'm going to push you the other way, so I can break more things with my crowbar. One, two... Here goes three! Come on. There we go. Wait for that giant spitty thing to slow down because it kills you if you don't. We've broken the three things, and now if you swim under here... Some poor bugger died and dropped a guard helmet. Dibs. Oh, fuck, now I'm drowning. And now I appear to have clipped into the architecture somehow. Um, shit.
Yeah, that's why you have to wait for it to slow down, otherwise it just straight up gibbs you. <laughs> Splat! <laughs> now this stops. And I can... Swim underneath, grab the guard helmet, swim out, and don't drown. Now we can reach this ladder. This is a ridiculously complicated puzzle to get to a ladder. Now, if I do this... Cheapest visible spawn-in I've seen in a video game. As of late, anyway. Like all the 2011 stuff, sure. That door's locked. Uh, there's just a corpse in here with all the flesh eaten off it. A slightly more unrealistic corpse and a health kit. Wimp of a guard. Come on. Come and eat my tasty head. Come on. Come on. Damn it, not like that. Oh, I don't even think you could do that. And you can just jump over these boxes, and guess what? Headcrabs can't jump. Oh, the guy hightails into the vents. Oh, that's cute. I never noticed that before. That is sweet. Uh... happened here. Now if you go this way, the game does this to you. So if I duck under his barrel, no, you can't duck under his barrel. There's my crowbar. Here's the thing walking towards me. What the fuck was that? Well, whatever it was, I hope I don't meet it. And now my crowbar's over there. Lovely. This door is now locked, even though we saw it jump through it to get in. That's now locked. This has been broken open. Uh, so we can go down here. But we can't go that way. I don't think I want to go that way. Oh, poor thing. Being eaten alive. Such a horrible way to go. That was the thing that came to kill him. Um, that thing is uh, called Mr. Happy. I... Fuck. Uh, that thing's called Mr. Happy in the game files. Uh, it has a model and animations, but it was never included in the final game. Uh, there's a really amusing backstory to how it got included in the game. Uh, amongst other things, um, there was a word of mouth thing where somebody's, um, somebody's nephew's cousin or something? Somebody's nephew's little brother or something like that uh, used to do art, and he's like, oh, well, we're making this game called Half-Life, I'm sure he'll be able to... Oh, am I back here? Why the fuck am I back here? I don't need to be back here. Did art, and he's like, oh, well, we need an art guy for the game anyway, let's bring him in. So they brought him in. Um. Uh. He. He didn't draw cute 
little aliens anymore. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It's an instant kill. Run, run. Uh, it would also have an ability whereby it could knock your glasses off and make everything blurry and you'd have to pick them back up again after you kill it. Uh, but no, that's, um... Uh, that was included mainly as a psychological method. Because they had the guy... Uh, I tell you what, I'll just link you to the video later and you can... And you can wonder what the ever-loving... Oh, why do I need to... Can I go back? Oh, that's closed now, too. Uh, why would I want to go back? I mean, if it were I, I'd want to go back because I'd have hidden something back there, but... But, yeah, that, um... That thing was meant to be a sort of psychological horror thing um, that was going to be included in the original Half-Life and, and was uh, thankfully cut. I say, I say that. Maybe due to the genre of psychological horror, I'm really glad that that was cut because otherwise this game would be rated a lot higher than it really is. I didn't realise that. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, I'll tell you about it later. It's the kind of thing you'd like. Uh, anti locks 01 and 02, 01 and 02. Seal. How do I get out of it? Ah, under here. Come on! Sorry, I only recently found out about DPI buttons on mice and I keep pressing mine by accident. Like, I like my games on 3.0 with the third DPI setting for some reason, so triple three, ha 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 ha. Uh, if you now go out here, there are zombies underwater. Guess what? They can't attack you underwater. So if you can, if you can, if you can stand on one's head, you can totally cheese them. Also, in this game, uh, unlike in stock Half-Life One, they'll actually get picked up by barnacles. Don't shoot shotgun. Sorry, I can't. I, I cannot sing Highway to the Danger Zone for the life of me. I'm so sorry. I will not do that again. But see? In fact, it's not just zombies. Everything in this game. Well, almost everything. Yeah, that. That's a totally troll move by the developer. Oh. Freak you. Actually, no, don't freak you, because you haven't got a cell phone. There's no point in trying to freak you, because there's nothing I could possibly get out of it. This is where I explain that freaking is the act of cheating telecom companies into giving you self. It's the... It's the act of quasi-illegally acquiring free phone calls by uh, convincing...
by convincing a cell, um, by convincing the phone provider that you are another phone provider. If you convince the switchboard that you're another switchboard by whistling down the line at the right frequency, which happens to be the one of the whistles they used to give out in Crap and Crunch. The, uh, the phone, the phone line will go, oh, hey, you're a switchboard. Ah, here we go. Let me just give you some free calls. So you can call from a payphone in America to Paris in about 20 digits. It's kind of awesome. I have not learned how to do this, uh, mainly because I can't get my whistles to hit the right frequency. I think I got it right once, and I haven't been able to practice this since. Uh, because they they are uh, they more closely monitor my security now. So, come on, come on, thank you. I'm just running around to make sure I've gotten all the ammo. Because you know how I am. Lol. I think that head crab just attacked a zombie and just got killed by the other zombies for it. Oh, crap. Sorry, I'm on... Sorry, I'm on 100-100 now, and I get paranoid when I'm on 100-100 because... I just know that the game dev will have planned some some horrible thing soon. I'm on about half my maximum bullet count. I do kind of like the weapon sounds in this. They sound a lot punchier than stock HL2, HL1. Uh, the truth about aliens. The Oxford... No, the Orchid Eater. Government conspiracy. The 37th man... Dollar by Mark Laidlaw. Ha 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 Mark Laidlaw, one of the writers of Half-Life 1 and 2. One who left, unfortunately. And the Red Force? The Third Force? I don't know. The Third... Um, the something Force. Ah, this is open now. So I can just... That gargantua looks angry. Can I can I jump off? Oh, I can. I do not trust this situation at all. Many because I wasn't stupid and I played this game yesterday. I wasn't exactly stupid when I played this game yesterday, but I didn't remember the sequence and as such was completely unprepared for the five or six hound eyes that spawned on me and tried to deal with all of them with my crowbar. You can imagine how that went. <laughs> oh shit. That's the other thing I don't like about this game, the, um... You can. Sure. That's the other thing I don't like, you can infinitely reload the pistol. <laughs> for no reason. Oh 
Oh shit! I remember this bit! Run! That's why you're running! Run! 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 And really creepy violin music! And I'm really thankful that the game dev probably didn't hide any ammunition or anything around here because otherwise that would be annoying as shit trying to pick it up while I'm running away from a giant thing that wants to kill me. There was actually a game that canoned that these were all female to avoid breeding issues, but uh... Oh shit! Oh shit! Pull the maintenance! Pull the maintenance! It's gonna get through! It's gonna get... Oh! RUN! Infinite ammo? So inconvenient. No, infinite reloading. The ammo is still finite, but you can just keep reloading it. It doesn't add ammo to the magazine, it doesn't consume ammunition, it doesn't create more ammunition. It just... It just keeps doing this! It's annoying! realize you could do this. Okay, now that's just bullshit. <laughs> well. But it lets me convert some of my pistol ammo into shotgun ammo, and that's going to be more convenient long term. Wait, I took damage from falling? No, eh, whatever. <laughs> but no, that's actually pretty clever, because I know there's an elevator up there that comes down. Also, he said we'll be safe up here. Do you believe him? <laughs> I mean, he, I believe him. Uh, there's a couple more build squids down there, but you can ignore them. You're not supposed to do this, but it's what I like to do, so... You don't do that. You do this. You don't do that. You don't do this either. Or this. No, 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 no. You do this. I think. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Sorry, I don't trust head crabs in tight spaces. Myself included. I didn't say that. Uh, fuck. Yeah, they put a little glow stick. They like to stick glow sticks in places to tell you you can go this way, or maybe you should look over here. If you look up there, there's two. Uh, there's three bull squids, actually, which I could kill, but it's more effort than it's worth. Right, so if I now run around like this... I can die. Or I can run around like this. I can get out of range. Feed one of the puppies. Oh. Dog damn it. Oh! Okay, maybe this will go better than I thought it would. Yeah, um... No, I genuinely didn't know that. This is my first time discovering that. Seriously. I'm not making this up. Yes, that just happened. Come on back here, there's some pistol ammo. Pistol ammo is nice and all, but I prefer shotgun ammo, really. Um... If you run on that, it falls. 
if you instead do this, it doesn't fall. You have a couple of options. You can just jump straight across, or you can take the vent around. I'm going to take the vent around, because in the vent around, there are two things. There's a head crab, and there's a shotgun. And you know how I feel about shotguns. This light's also green. This, this map maker loves to use green lighting to indicate you should go this way. And then just red lighting everywhere else, which is kind of cool. At the same time, kind of annoying, because normally people use red lighting to say, don't go this way. Not in this game. Uh, one zombie down, two to go. Two zombies down, one to go. I didn't know about that either. Does he say anything else if I keep? I guess I exhausted its optional lines. Another shotgun. We're just swimming in shotguns now. That would be really uncomfortable. Don't ever do that. Up we go. Something has got in well. I, um... I don't know if I should laugh at that or not. Let's look at it again. I don't think I don't want to think about that too much. Yeah, I did mention that I like shotguns, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I have. Far too many times, really. Right, so if you now sneak around here. Game does that to you. He's in a better place now. Oh no. <laughs> and the corpse just gets splattered by the exploding crates. No! <laughs> ah! Ah, crap. You have arrived at your floor. I can make it to the third one with the shotgun before he notices me. Pointless bet. And that's why you can only do that once. <laughs> B. 
Big gargantua sounds ang angry. Oh, I didn't notice that either. And I played this yesterday. Right, here's the next step. If you go up here, these three are like... Hold on. Is there more loot here than just some health kits? No, okay, just checking. Hey, big ugly! Get your butt down here! Good, now run. <laughs> the shooting him is just to get his attention. I don't actually have to shoot him. <laughs> You're gonna say sure again, aren't you? It's not like I get off from shooting him, okay? Does that make you feel better or worse? Right, now we're back up here. But he's still down there. <laughs> More importantly, if you're quiet about it, you can go out to the vent you broke earlier. Which is all the way back here, where we can't get to you. And then you can run like crap. Problem solved. And then you press this button, this door closes and up goes the elevator. Gotta keep moving while the elevator's going up, otherwise the game can glitch on you and then you just constantly take damage until you die or until you restart the game. Which is annoying as crap. Oh, well, he sees angry. <laughs> Can't think why. I only called him Big Ugly Fella once. And then the game slowly fades to black. Liberation. The annoying thing about the taking damage bit though I'd help them out, but the scientists are the only ones who are going to die here, and I don't care too much about the scientists. Okay, maybe I was wrong. The Barney's a care man. Yeah, no, you really aren't. Did that one just go by on fire? Oh my goodness, it did. Ah, this must be my floor. Oh, it's this scene. Here's the thing, you can jump up here, and if you jump up here... You can... crawl along these ledges... If you can crawl along these ledges, you can get over here. If you can get over here, you can kill him. And get a crossbow. Crossbow. It's an angry bow. It wants your blood. Wait, no, that would be the Vladimir bow. Not the Vladimir bow, that would be the, um... The face, the face of Bo? <laughs> no, no, that, that... The face of Bo doesn't want, um... 
that from the uh the um <laughs> I'm sorry uh <laughs> the face of crossbow. Right, uh, so this is a huge arena where you're going to be, where you are going to kill many things. Stage one. Vorticons. Better be all of them. You get to kill him. What do you mean? What is the benefit of killing him? You get to kill him. I don't think you quite understand how I play video games, do you? Oh good, I was wondering. Stage two! Big uglies! Oh crap. Oh, oh, no, never mind, never mind, that's the end of it. I love how I just can't, like... In a minute, love. Um, I can't just, like, hotwire one of these cars. I'm gonna save this real quick, just to check X something. Because, um... That is a bunch of lines out of uh, Half-Life Decay, which I really hope to play with somebody someday. Maybe Sundex. Okay, maybe not Sundex, but... Ah, uh, not this door. It's the other door. Sorry. The door all the way back here that I tried to go through originally that closed because high energy breach. Or some bullcrap.
The military are here. They'll help. Right? Big ugly soon. Yes, good. Excellent. I'll be able to communicate with you anywhere in the facility. That just looks wrong. Let me activate the service lift. This is a door, not a lift. See you on the other side. Is someone there? Get back! Please leave me alone. Don't want them. Uh, hiding in the women's bathroom? Uh, okay. That's an, um, uh, an interesting tactic. I mean, there must be a reason you're in there, right? And why do you have a shotgun? Can't I take your shotgun? You can't open the door from now on. That one's broken. That one's broken. This one isn't broken yet. Yeah, hi. Those things, they're everywhere. We've got to get out of here. Did you hear that? It's the six-legged polar bear! Gibbs. Lovely. Thing destroyed! about the security guard. Ah, oh, damn it, I have to do this again. There are more head crabs in here, I'm just waiting for them. I have no idea what the point of that was, you never see one of those things again. It's literally a one-off mini-boss just to... Screw with you or something? I don't freaking know. Sorry, I've been wanting to do that for a little while. There's a crossbow. I could reach out and take it, but I can't. That totally looks like something out of Doom. Have I mentioned how much I love shotguns? I'm sure I have. Several times this stream. You mentioned you not want to kink shame, but no. I like shotguns practically. It's a platonic relationship. Okay? 
Mainly because the idea of sticking sensitive parts of me into tubes full of metal and gunpowder doesn't seem like a good idea, you know. Now I, now I have more uh, crossbow ammo that I will never use because... Mm -hmm. I'm just breaking all these crates because I'm hoping there'll be something useful in them. So, something more useful than what I have right now. Shit. <laughs> Besides, I clearly need to get some more pistol ammo anyway. Well, use more pistol ammo anyway. Hey! Uh, Hate to be an inconvenience, currently busy. Sorry, I just wanted to do that. Practically, it's a stupid tactic. Okay, so the trick is to... Nail the first guy and stay out of range of the second guys. Okay, but... Okay. Guy one! really fun actually you'll note we're now back up here right where we started <laughs> what was the point of all that <laughs> but who cares now I have more bullets so I'm happy well, as happy as I can be, really. What kind of questioning? Is it the kind that involves a good cop and a bad cop? Because I know a bad cop. Uh, unit 3650. Colloquially known as bad cop. Still nothing in here. What? So let's see. Uh, you never come back here, so I want to make sure I get absolutely everything I can. That's something I'm bad at understanding when I play this. That you'll never come back to this area. Okay, he dropped some magnum ammo. So if I jump off... I can That's a clue that something nasty is wait really satisfying. Such a stress reliever. Shotguns. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I've got a machine gun, I've got a machine gun. No, wait, sorry, it's the Christmas season. <clears throat> ho, ho, ho. Now I have a machine gun. Prosecute K-I-L with extreme force. 
Who is this KIL person? Shit. And if I go down here, I'll fall off the ladder. Uh, you can go back in to that lift and arrive back at the bottom area where we killed the big red angry thing. I have no idea why you'd want to do that, but you... Well, actually, no, I know exactly why you'd want to do that, and I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute or two. So, two things. One... That. Two. That looks really painful, especially since I don't think your neck should be that long. Now I have to go up a level. Okay, so if we've gone back... Oh! <laughs> he died. His armor mysteriously leapt off him and landed down there. Guys, building maintenance is gonna. Ha um, building management's gonna have a field day with you if you keep cutting jobs that much. You guys are fire. You stairs. But right now, I'm back on full armor. I think my chat might be lagged. I'm gonna reload. Checkpoints A and D. Far. Far. Up here, we'll find an excuse to use some. If there's one thing I've learned from playing Counter Strike, it's that I'm shit at Counter Strike and that you should use short controlled bursts. Okay, so I've learned two things from playing Counter-Strike, but we can split the difference and call it one, okay? It averages. Don't want to get too close to these, because if you get too close to them or you touch them, they, um... They realise who you are. Fuck. Okay, so on the upside, he's... Did I survive that? There's a reason I'm going all full shotgun here, and that is they like to give you some shotgun ammo on the way back, and I want to make sure I have the room to carry it. Also, I can't just outright attack the... Um... Oh, I can! I didn't know that was an option. We now jump up here, uh, one, two.
A grenade, uh, 15 assault rifle rounds, another grenade, dead head crab, oh wait, I put that there. That was dumb. Okay, just to check, if I don't kill any of them, can I collect all the shotgun ammo that's here? Because I think my cap is 90. It is 90, and I'm one shotgun round. F it. Grabbing all the ammo I can while I'm shit. While I'm on my way down. Screw you. Huh. Oh shit. I just realized I forgot what you're actually supposed to do up there. God damn it! Did I just try and jump over the laser you're meant to duck? That one's broken. That one's broken. That one's not broken. Okay, so... Then that ladder. <whistles> shit, I didn't die. <laughs> I might as well just call all my streams that. Holy shit, I didn't die. Because that's... Right, so... <laughs> Do I need to actually go up? I think I do, because then I have to... Shit, I might have gone... I may have gone the wrong way uh, again. I do that a lot, too. In case you hadn't noticed. There we are. That's now pitch black for no apparent reason. Hey, it's that glowing thing from earlier. And it's running away. So this area just creeps me out. Okay, so the faint heartbeat noises in the background aren't helping that too much. If you can feel a sort of pressure in your right ear, that's not just me. Oh, hey! It's you! That one in there. Now... I thought you could, like, shoot it or something to set it off, but you're actually supposed to go through this dialogue sequence that, um, doesn't really make any sense to me. Like, I don't know why you have to do this, but you do. That doesn't look wrong at all. This is locked. That's fucking grassed in. If you run into the dark, 
This happens. Cleverly done, but you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> That's a nice Half-Life 2 reference. And now I'm over here. Almost there. Good job. Target piece, and I thought I had all of that. You look like hell. Yeah, let's go. Basically, what that means is... That. Note, this door's now locked. My access code should open this and unlock any door around the central transit hub. Let's see if this works. Oh, we have to go pick him up. Get the hell out of here. Stop. You found the guy. Good job. I presume you've got the all clear codes? Yeah, I've got the clearance codes to the security station. Let's go. Excellent. I shall await your return. Count the number of shots he fires. Where it is once we get to the surface. The surface. One, two, three, four, six, seven. What does the tabula rasa even mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Hasn't reloaded. <laughs> That's a six shooting revolver, and he's just fired nineteen rounds, twenty two rounds, twenty five rounds, twenty seven rounds, and he still hasn't thirty rounds, and he hasn't reloaded five times as many as that thing chambers. I want to say that's about 55, but I lost track a little while ago. Simply because he kept firing. He just kept... He just kept firing. Clean slate. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh. I... I'd really like a cold one right now. You want a freaking beer? You want a freaking beer? Hell yeah, me too. Maybe help is on its way, but I'm not waiting around for it. We gotta get 
I want to say I, I want to start spending some. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna call it here because this next section is well, really freaking annoying. I'm just gonna put it that way. This, this entire section. Also, it's 7 p.m. and I would like to have some dinner. So I'm gonna end the stream here, and we're gonna call it for now. And uh, thank you for watching. And thank you for defining Tabula Rossa for me.